Sarah. Now, up here in the Northern Hemisphere, yesterday was the official first day of autumn, and folks, you know what that means. Aside from the lovely fall colors that we're enjoying out here, you know what else that means. Oh yes, that's right. Pumpkin-flavored everything is coming. So, today we're going to take a look at the humble pumpkin. Now, let me get my hot bar back here. There we go. In vanilla, there wasn't much that you could do with pumpkins. You could make pies with them, you could make jack-o'-lanterns out of them, and that was really about it. Well, oh, you could also put them on your head to keep Enderman from getting pissed off at you. Well, there's a little bit more that you can do with them in Magic Farm, and I'm just going to pop one up here. First of all, the easiest thing you can do, you see I've got some stuff already made up here. You just take that pumpkin, turn it into seeds. What was that? Oh, there's sheep over there. And instead of putting those seeds in the ground, you put them in your furnace. And those will toast up into some nice crunchy pepita pumpkin seeds. If you want something a little bit more substantial, that's fine. Let me get this out of here. For a little appetizer. Now remember back in episode 3, I believe, I showed you how to make stock. And you can use, again, either any meat or just straight up bones. So if you have a skeleton spawner, you can use that as a source of stock. You take that stock, you take some heavy cream, which you get by mixing uh, fresh milk up in a mixing bowl, I believe it is. Add to that one pumpkin, mix it all up in your bowl, simmer it up in your pot, and you get a lovely bowl of pumpkin soup. And once those little seeds are done, you sprinkle some of those on top of it. Nice little garnish there. To go with that pumpkin soup, you can make some lovely pumpkin bread, and to do that, you will need some dough. So, again, of course, dough is a cutting board, salt, water, and flour. Then you take that dough, you add to it a pinch of sugar and a lovely little pumpkin. Bake that up in your bakeware, and you get a nice, delicious, warm, hearty loaf of pumpkin bread. Now, of course, pumpkin flavored everything is coming, but there is a challenger on the horizon, and that is caramel apple flavored everything. That's okay, we have you covered. Now, caramel apples, um, believe it or not, are one of those foods that's actually going to save your butt early on, because sugar is one of the fastest growing crops in Magic Farm. Sugar cane, anyway. You plant you up a whole bunch of sugar cane, you get a saucepan, you get caramel. Caramel is a nourishing morsel, which is a little bit better than the nuts and berries that you pick up off the ground. Apples are extremely easy to farm, and I'll actually show you here in just a minute my combination chicken, egg, and apple farm here at my survival house, which is actually just right over that away. I don't think you can see it from here. Oh, yep, there's there it is right there. There's my farm. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Anyway, you take an apple, a hunk of caramel, and a stick, and you get a caramel apple, which is an unfulfilling light meal, which is still in the light meal category of foods, which is still better than a snack, still better than a morsel. This is going to be one of those early foods that helps save you early on. So there we are. There is our assortment of lovely fall foods. And let's go and take a look over you know, I tell you what, I'm going to head over to my survival farm, and I will see you in just a few minutes. And we're back. This is my survival house. Uh, it's still a work in progress. I've got some nether wood that I'm adding to it, and some vines and stuff. Here is my vineyard, my hop farm. I'm going to have some bees in there eventually. My barn slash mine entrance. All my veggie farms, there's my cows, my mangoes, my avocados, there's a vanilla tree off that away. I've got all my various little veggie patches here. But this is my chicken, egg, and apple farm. And geez, as you can see, I need to crate up some of these eggs big time. How it works, it's, it's you okay, cow? All right. How it works is, you have water here, and there's an apple there. I'm going to turn on magnet mode real quick so I can get it. There we go. You have water that flows towards the center. You have a hole with a sign underneath it so that the water will stop flowing. 
and it also keeps the chickens from falling down there. Chickens lay eggs, the water carries the eggs down the hole and into the chest via a hopper. Now remember back in episode 5 I showed you how to attach apple cores to oak leaves to make an apple tree. Well, turns out it does not have to be an actual tree. Uh, a commenter on that episode suggested you know, having the uh, roof of oak logs with a little bit of oak leaves underneath it, attaching the cores to that, and then having a setup kind of like this to carry the water, uh, carry the uh, apples to a chest. Well, I'd already had the chicken farm built, so I thought, you know, might as well add apples to it too, and it works quite well. Up oh, there went an egg right there. And maybe I can get an apple to fall down here. I think I'm just going to have to... Oh, there, there went one. And you see it going towards the hole, and down it goes. And as you can see, I've, I don't know why those aren't stacking. There we go. I have a crap ton of eggs and a crap ton of apples. If I whack a chicken, all the meat and the feathers and everything just go right into the chest. So, thank you for joining me tonight, folks. I hope you enjoy your lovely fall weather, if you have it. If you don't, well, I hope you get some soon. And there's my pigs over there. I, I don't know why the pigs and the cows are jumping up and down like that, but you know what? Whatever. I hope you enjoyed a little tour of my farm and a little taste of pumpkin-flavored everything. And as always, if there is any specific kind of food you would like to see me do a show on, just drop me a comment, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. And remember... I am fundraising still for Texas Children's Hospital through Extra Life. If you like what you see and would like to maybe give back a little bit, uh, go to my fundraising page. It's linked in the description on every video I do. And drop a dollar or two in the uh, virtual collection jar there. And until next time, bon appetit. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.